Hi, this is Michael Gatewood, and welcome to Digital Essentials. As you can see, we have a two-light setup, and we're about to photograph a lamp. This exercise is to give this lamp a glow or a light to make it more attractive. All right, what we have is a photograph of a lamp. It's nothing super attractive. It's just an old hurricane lamp. We photographed it with a two-light setup using a, well, wooden barn siding for the background and for the base of this image. I've noticed the flame doesn't seem to be strong enough, so what we're probably going to have to do is use another image with a little brighter flame. I'm using the polygonal lasso tool and I'm getting all the way around the light on the other image. I'm going to click on the move tool, drag and drop directly onto the lamp that we're going to be using. I went Control T and Edit Free Transform to be able to move the lamp up a little lar or the light a little larger. I also changed the opacity to line up with the other flame. Once I've done that and moved it in position, I'll hit Enter. Fantastic. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here, turn the opacity back up, and click on a mask. So what I'm going to do is hold down the Alt key and click, and that's going to give me a black mask. I'm going to take a paintbrush, a white paintbrush, and I'm going to paint over the lamp or over the light, bringing back the light that we had dragged in. I'm going to toggle back and forth and take away and add the light till it looks natural. Once I've done that, I can go in here and merge down. Once I've merged down, I bring the light down into the base layer. That's going to work just fine, but I'm going to name this base layer Lamp, creating a transparent layer. Click OK. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and just simply use the ruler to line up in the center. This lamp is crooked and I'm going to go into rotate arbitrary and click OK. It already gave me the direct or the exact alignment and you're going to see a perfect lamp straight up and down. That works. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, create a new layer and fill with black. Click OK and then switch the layer underneath the lamp because I want this to fade off into black. I want to cover the transparency. I flickered it off and on for you using layer visibility. Now what I'm going to do is use an adjustment layer curves and darken the top image where the edges get very dark. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and hold down the Alt key. Oh, just add a mask this time. Then what I'm going to do, once I have the mask, is go Command-I and Invert. Then I'm going to take a paintbrush, a white brush, not painting on the lamp, but painting on the edges until the edges fade to black, creating a black background, solid black around my lantern. Or my lamp. I'm just painting with white. White reveals, black conceals, and I'll go back and forth to make sure that I haven't darkened the lamp anymore. This is a very low light conditions for the shot on this lamp. Okay, I think I've about got it. There's our mask. Now, what I'm going to do simply go into layer and merge down. Great. Now I have just a lamp vignetted to black and then I'm simply going to go back into adjustment layers, go back into curves and I'm going to lighten and you're going to see the lamp lighten. But the only thing I want to do is work with just the lamp so I added a mask and then what I'm going to do is simply go in and paint 
that mask. I've inverted it. White reveals, black conceals, so I'll turn it to a white paintbrush, and you can see the lamp start to lighten. Perfect. There we go. Just painting on the lamp, we start to get a brighter lamp and still a rich black background, but we can still see a little illumination on the table itself. Okay. Now I'm zooming in a little bit, and I see some fingerprints on the on the glass in the lamp, and that's not going to work for us, so I'm going to use the patch tool. Taking the patch tool, what I'm doing is selecting around the fingerprints, clicking and dragging in the selection, and replacing with other parts of the glass. I see two fingerprints, so I'm going to be doing that on both of the fingerprints. Fantastic. And I just clicked and dragged and moved into some new glass. So it looks pretty clean. I'm going to leave the rest kind of muddled, kind of a patina style look. This is an old antique lamp. I've looked around and it looks pretty clean. That'll work. Just a little hair in there that, well, it wasn't really a hair, but a little light glint that I wanted to get rid of. Looks pretty good. Not bad. All right, I've zoomed in. I'm back into layers and I've merged down. I have one layer to work with now. Command E can merge those layers. I went into filter and I went into liquify. Going into liquify and it's going to take just a moment, but it will pull up the liquify graphic interface. What I want to do is I want to give this light a little more of a flicker, more of a little more of an interest than just a slight glow at the bottom. So I'm going to use the warp tool, reducing the size of the brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to go right into the light itself and I'm going to click and drag and move it up, creating a little bit more interest in that light. I'm kind of pushing in, giving it a little narrower look. There we go. Something as if the light had just popped a little bit then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in there and click OK. We've rendered and we have a light source that's up a little bit, a little more interesting. Now what I need to do is I need to create a little more interest in that light itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in, add a layer, find a really cool color. This red looks a little bright. Let's go more gold. And I'm going to click OK. I'm going to take the paintbrush and click, and you can see a big burst of yellow or orange. Now I'm going to go to the blend mode and go to soft light. Once I go to soft light, you create more of a glow, a natural glow. And I've noticed that the glow looks pretty cool. I'm flickering it off and on. Then I notice that if I paint a little bit right on the glass, it's as if it's glowing on the glass and on the hardware. And I get a little more glow in this particular light. I'm zooming in, flickering it off and on. See how natural it looks. Fantastic. All right, so now we have a little more glow on this lamp. A little more interest. Looks pretty good. I've merged down. I don't always merge my layers. I usually keep those in case I need to adjust. But for this exercise, I'm going to make it simple. Now I've gone with white, and I'm going with a brush, and I'm creating swirls. I want smoke coming out of the top of this lamp like it's an old oil lamp. And a little smoke is just flickering out of the top and kind of swirling around. Now I know it looks really fake and kind of ugly, but once we go into filter and we go into liquify, we can actually go in there and twist by going to twirl and twirl those lines to create a more realistic effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to twirl. I can hit the Alt key to twirl one direction or the other. And I'm clicking and dragging and I'm creating a little more of a twirl, like a swirl, like smoke. That's going to help to add to the effect, give it a more natural look. In just a second, I'll be able to click OK. Go back into the lamp, out of liquify. It's got a render. It takes just a moment or two. 
And once that's done, then you can see the swirl. Now I know what looks kind of kooky and not realistic. So let's go to filter blur, Gaussian blur, and keep blurring till what we end up with is something that looks a little bit like smoke coming out of the lamp itself. Click OK. And we end up with something that has a little more interest, a little smoke, a little fire, a little flicker, a little glow that creates more of an interest in this lamp. What I'm doing now is I'm just going in and turning up vibrance to get this bright and shiny. So I went to adjustment layer vibrance and added the vibrance. You can see me flickering it off and on and I get more of a glow pulling up those pixels that weren't as saturated as before. Vibrance and saturation. Go back into the history. You can see the original. Pull back into the vinyl and it gives you an idea of an oil lamp that looks more interesting, has a little more of a glow. Thank you.